I love Calibon. I just love Calibon. How good is it? G'day guys, Kenny here again from Kenny Talks Cladding. And we're on our DIY adventure on replacing this wall that we have right behind us. It's the weatherboard wall, which is going to be converted into, wait for it, we're going to put on a Highland Tray 265 using Basalt Matte by Colourbond. Very excited. So Highland Tray, it's a, it's, a, it's a cladding, which is flat, 265mm wide with a 38mm rib. I'm going to set it up really nicely on this wall and it's going to make a real, real nice feature to this outdoor area where we've ripped off the old weatherboards. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to rip off this old sarking. Then I'm going to show you about some insulation. Then we're going to put on some new sarking and then we're going to measure up the cladding and the flashings that we need to get started. Then I'm going to put some battens on. All right, here we go. I want to share with you now that I've pulled all of this insulation is that there's multiple grades of sarking that you can put on your house. This one here is quite thick, it's quite a, it's a heavy duty sarking, so it folds, you can, you can feel it with your hands. So, this one's going to give you a little bit more um, R value to your house and it'll probably have a longer lifespan. It's also better for waterproofing. Then you have this one, it's very, very flimsy as you can see, which is your standard house wrap. What we recommend is a higher, um, more heavy duty wrap, especially got a bit, uh, behind a little colourbond cladding. More like this one, as you can see there, it's, it's quite a thick mat. Here we have it, the wall's been taken off, the sarking has been removed, and now we have an exposed wall. What we have here is a bit of bracing ply that's been on each end of the wall. That there is, it's put there as part of the structural integrity of the house. So the, the Bracing goes on there, helping everything stay nice and straight and square and true for many years to come. And when the big cyclones come, helps it not to tip over. Basically, that's what that does. G'day guys, and welcome back to Colourbon Cladding DIY Series with me, Kenny, from My Cladders. Colourbon Cladding rocks, yeah. yeah. Don't you want that on your house? Yeah. Colourbond Woo! G'day guys, look at you, you trendsetters. You're putting that colourbond on your walls, aren't you? You guys don't like painting, and you like looking stylish and architectural. Well, that's why you're here, to do the DIY video. Well, I'm going to do a DIY video, which shows you how to measure up uh, for your sheeting on the walls. This is that video. I'm going to get the tape, the marker, we're gonna run all over this wall. So you're gonna come with me? Good on ya. Alright, let's do it. So what is it that we need to do? We need to make sure we order enough material, but not too much material, to make it that we can get our, uh, our toe mold. We're gonna put a toe mold in down the bottom here. And we're gonna put our sheeting in. And the sheeting will come up here, and we're gonna, as we shear across, we're gonna put our head flashing in. The head flashing is gonna go in here. We're going to put some sheeting in across the top and we're going to have a flashing that's going to sit at the top which is going to receive all of our sheets that we put in because we don't want fixing ugly screws and rivets if we don't need them so we'll have a flashing up the top that'll come around all of that a flashing that's going to run down the side here and look really really pretty uh, one that's going to come over here but where do we start from let's see that that's the hard part so what where do we start well We've got the sarking on, it's insulated behind, and so we're going to start by putting the toe mould on. Right, here we go. So the first thing you've got to figure out when you're doing your toe mould is how far you're going to finish the bottom of the toe mould off the ground. So the toe mould off the ground, well, where I'm going to give it, over here I've got another section of the wall, which is, it's a 50mm gap, and I'm happy with a 50mm gap. I can see whether or not termites are getting into my wall and uh, it's a really good visual barrier to make sure that the termites don't get into my wall. So I'm going to go with 50mm. I'm going to measure up here 50mm I'm going to put a line. Then 
we need to work out, well, how large a profile are we gonna do the bottom of the toe mold? So you can do a really basic one, almost do it flat, or you can make it a bit chunky so it matches with your side flashings and your top flashings and your window flashings. Uh, there's many different ways you can do it. There's no set way. You can make that a big 100 mil high, a real chunky toe mold if you want. However, on most architectural homes, the, uh, what we end up doing is about a 30 mil, 30 mil toe mold. I'm gonna do mine at 40 mil because the side, my side flashings and my top, I'm gonna be a little bit bigger. So I don't want it to look too small. So what I'm going to do is mark, put my tape down on the 50, the 40 mil up mark, the 50 mil up, up mark, and I'm going to mark 40 mil. And because I've worked this out earlier, I'd set this paper to that perfect mark, so that when we put the toe mold on here, this sarking sits nicely behind the sheeting, uh, so that so that uh, it meets code and the water, if it gets in behind here, will go into that toe mold and out onto the, the concrete. So we need to draw our toe mold. Well, the up stand on the toe mold is going to be 100 mil. And the out stand, well, what profile will we be going? We're going a 265 Highland tray. Uh, that's going to be scattered about with a bit of 165 sheeting so that it's got a bit of different size to it, uh, a bit of difference. So. The thickness of that sheeting is 38 millimetres and we're going to sit the sheet, the batten's going to sit on top of the toe mould and so we need to stick out here. So you're going to have a, a batten sit over the top of this toe mould on the up stand. You're going to come out the thickness of the, uh, the thickness of the batten, which is 20 mil in this situation, uh, or 40 mil is another common size. And then the thickness of the sheet is 38 mil. So what we've got here is 60 mil. I'm going to make the 65 so that the, the, the actual toe mold sits a little bit further out than the sheet, so that it it gives it. That's how it, it gives it kind of like a shadow line. It gives it a really nice look. Now, how long does that toe mold need to be? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to make the width. We're going to measure from one side to the other. The total width of the wall is 4.22 wide. So I'm going to I'm going to order this sheet at 4,300 or 4.3 meters. Sorry, I'm going to order this flashing at 4.3 meters. So one at 4,300. Now I'm going to draw an arrow and point the arrow towards the side that I want the colour on and I'm going to write the colour basalt matte. I'm going to circle that so that if we draw anything else we'll know. Now this here, that's our thermal. So what we're going to measure now is the head flashing. Uh, and what, what, that, what does that head flashing do? The head flashing goes on between the, uh, the window and the wall sheets above it. So essentially, it's the transition between the wall sheets and the window to keep the water out from getting inside of your house, which no one wants that, right? So this head flashing that we're gonna put up above here, it's gonna have a 100 mil up stand up the back of it, and it's gonna sit in front of the button and behind the sarking. So the batten will sit and we'll screw the batten in along here on the, on the frame and then put this on the top, trim this down tiny bit if we need to and so that any water comes down there onto that head and, and it, we get it to come out. That's the whole aim of the game. So what we're going to do here is we've got a 20 mil coming off the wall and then we're going to have to come out the rest of the frame and do our little tricks. So what is the distance off the, from the frame uh, of the house out to the outside of the window. That is 45, it's almost 50 mil, it's like 48 millimeters. So we're gonna have a 20 mil batten that takes it down to only having 28 millimeters. Now here's the challenge. The sheets that we're gonna put on the wall are gonna be 38 millimeters. So we kind of want it to come out 40 mil. Um, so essentially what we can do is there's a few different things we can do. We're gonna make this all marry up.
This is obviously going to be different and we're going to have to have the head flashing come out further than this window. So that helps us decide how we're going to do the head flashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it come out 40 millimetres and then come down 40 millimetres and return with the squash fold and return back with the squash fold, which gives us our drip edge. So this here will be 40 millimetres out here and I'll do 40 millimetres down, down the face of that. And the reason for that 40 mil is it's going to match the bottom here. And if all my sheeting works out, I should be able to get 40 mil either side of the window and 40 mil at either side of the, the wall. So again, we have the 100 mil up there, 40 mil there, 40 mil there, and then we're just going to write squash fold or SF um, 80. And that will return that all the way back up there. Uh, so again, we need to know how long this is going to need to be. So what's the width of the window? Well, the window is 2.41 long. We're going to have 40 mil overhang here, 40 mil overhang the other side. So it's going to be a minimum of 2,500, minimum. So I always like to order an extra 100 mil long because it just makes it a bit safe, just in case. It's better to be 100 mil long than to be two millimeters short. So, there we go, we're gonna order these at one at 2.6 meters long. And remember to draw the arrow to decide that you want the color and write the color in basalt, Mat. Cool, there we go. That's the head flashing. All right, we've got our toe, we've got our head, now we're gonna do, the, it's called the feet flashing, which is gonna go all the way up here, way come back, all the way up here and it's gonna bite into that ceiling and give a really nice finished line, nice shadow line. And it's gonna also receive our, our sheets when we put them on. So. What does it what does it do? So uh, the the Safed flashing is kind of like a little bit of quad on normal timber cladding or what have you. Just finishes it off and makes it look really really pretty. If you just had a sheet on the wall, yeah, it might look okay, but you're going to have little daggy ends on it, and it's not going to be waterproof. It's not going to be vermin proof. So it's uh, another real requirement, and it finishes it off and makes it look absolutely a one top class. So. How do, we, how do we design that? It's another option. There's multiple ways. You can put the sheets on first, and then you can put a flashing over the top. Then you're, you're guessing a little bit with whether or not you're gonna vermin proof it properly and waterproof it properly. Or you could put it on first, and um, then slide your sheets up into that. And that's a much, much better way of, of installing wall cladding so that you, you knock those things out of the park, the vermin proofing and the waterproofing. You spray up there, anything goes up, it's just going to come straight back down, either down the wall sheets or down the sarking behind it. So let me draw how I'm going to do mine. Rightio, so it's up the top, we're going to be going up against the batten. Once the batten's on, we're going to be fixing it into the batten. It's going to run up, up the back, across the feet on the ceiling and then down and guess what? 40 millimetres. 40 down the bottom, 40 up there, 40 there, keeping some consistency so that it all looked really good at the end. So here's what it looks like. That, we're gonna go 100 mil again. Bit of a pattern, it's 100 mil. Then we're gonna come out. Can we guess how far out that's gonna be? We've got a 38 mil sheet that's gonna go on the wall, so you guessed perfect. That inside there is going to be 40 mil. That's if you guessed 40 mil. We're going to come down 40 mil, but now this is where it all gets tricky. Now, when you look up inside there, you want you want this side here to be colour bond, right? You want to see that. You want the outside of it to be pretty, just like the wall sheets. You want it to match. But when you look up you want to also see it 
look really pretty, you want it to be colour bond on the underside. So what we do is return that with a squash fold and a short little squash fold at the top. We write on the inside 40 because it needs to receive 38. So it's important to write that on the inside. And this downward leg here is also going to be 40. And that's going to be 10. And we're going to write squash fold. So we're going to use this from this top point all the way up there and around the little part where the uh, lower roof comes in. Remember, draw your arrow. What side do you want the colour on? Basalt. Matte. Now, that's colours that side, colours that side, that side, and that side because it's wrapping the whole way around. Sorry, my hands are the wrong way. I'm right handed. This is terrible. So, that side there is going to be the back side of the colour bond flashing material, which is just going to be a, a plain grey. So, you make sure you, you draw the arrow to the correct side that you want it. Now, how long is this? Alright, so we're going to have one small piece. It's going to come across here. That's going to be 600. So I'll order that one at 800. One at 800. Then we're going to have the one that comes all the way from this side to the other side. Now, we worked out before we need 4,300 for the toe, but that's flat without any pitch. So I'm going to add an extra 200 mil. I could get up there and measure up there, but really, I'm pretty lazy, so I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to order the top flashing that runs all the way along there at 4.5 metres. One at 4,500. You can write 4.5, that's fine. They'll still make it at 4,500. So what are we going to do about that little funny bit up there? Well. I'm going to need another little piece of the same receiver to go up there to match in up the top there because I'm not actually needing to clad up there, there's already a flashing up there and if I need to I can just get another little piece of flashing later. So I'm going to continue that, so before I wrote down 800mm, I'm going to make that, how wide, how big is this here? Another 400mm. So if I make that, instead of 1 at 800, I'm going to do 1 at 1.5 or 1500. The reason I'm going to do that is because they, the fabricators charge you by the metre up to 1 metre. So what I'm going to do now is actually go and mark out on the wall and work out my design of what I want my sheets. I'm going to have 265 sheets and 165 sheets. So what I've prepared is a story rod. Now a story rod is a fixed a uh, fixed piece where you've written your measurement of 265 and 165 so you can copy that onto the wall without going through and having the mistake of maybe it being out by a couple of mil each time like this one here but with the tape measure. Now you can also do it with the tape measure this here just takes a bit of the complexity out of it when trying to come up with a design. Uh, now if you're just doing one size then that would be fine and you just use your tape measure and you can mark it out. It depends on the cladding that you choose. This one, because we're going 165 and 265, I've chosen to get a piece of timber. This is actually an old bamboo cutting board. Good old IKEA, thank you very much. This one's split in the dishwasher after about five years use. So, for 15 bucks, I'm pretty happy. Anyway, I'm going to just chuck along here, truck along and throw some measurements on the wall and see what we can So now I'm really, really excited. I've got my plan set up on the wall and I can stand back and visually have a look at it and go, yeah, I'm going to go 265, 165, 165, 265, 265, 165, 265, 165, 165, 265, 165, 265, 265, 165, 165, 265, 165, 265, 165, and finish up with a couple of 165s. Now that was pretty intense, pretty excited. I'm excited because now this is my house and I can make it work exactly the way that I want to make it work. Just like you guys can when you do the DIY on your place. So, I've got my pattern and now we're just going to measure and work out a quantity of how many sheets we need in each size. Something I need to mention, when we put our sheets onto the tow mould, we want to set it up 10mm off the tow mould. That gives it a little air gap, stops it from rubbing, it stops it from uh, scuffing up and potentially scratching the tow mould. So that when we put the sheets on, we want to have a nice it doesn't have to be 10mm, 
but five to 10 mil is, is what we like. And uh, if it looks wrong at 10 mil, then we drop it down a bit. But we've got a nice big chunky toe flashing on it. So 10 mil is gonna work really well. So I'm gonna take my measurement from 10 mil above the top of the toe mold. Now the next sheet is going to be cut out around here from the bottom. It's going to get cut out around here and cut out over this part here. And it's still going to run all the way to the top. So I'm going to still measure it exactly the same way. This time I'm just going to measure it up the side of the window because I can't get to the far right hand side of the sheet. Now the next section is the short sheets. Sometimes um, the manufacturer won't do our sheets at this exact size, at these short little lengths, generally under 1200 mil. They don't really like to make it because it can get some distortions at the, at the ends of the sheets. So uh, what I'm going to do is measure the bottom section and then we're going to cut those, we're going to cut the top of them and then the top of them will get used to go at the bottom of here. So what I'm going to measure here is off off there to the underside of the window is 730. We're going to take our 10 mil off, and we're going to get. We're also going to give it um, 5 mil play here. So we're going to take 15 mil off. So we've got 730. I'm going to make it 715. So each one of these sheets has to be 715 plus top. This one here is just two short ones because this is 265. This next sheet over here is actually going to be the full height one. This one's just on the inside of here. And the 15 plus top. Now, before we go, I'm going to come back here. How many sheets have we got under there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 sheets. So I'm just going to note down 11 here. I know we can count them again. We want to make sure we do 11 sheets up here. At this time, I'm going to measure to the top using my tape measure. I'm going to butt that into the top. And this is where our top measurement is up here. So I've got for this first sheet 940, and I'm going to take 10 millimeters off that. So 940. So 715 plus 940. It's really good to get something to measure. So I'm going to put this over the top of the head and come down so I can get a nice square measurement so I can get a bit, bit more precise. So I'm on this one here. And so I've got 950 on this one and I'm going to take the 10 mil off and it's going to be 940. Now, this sheet here actually is going to run up, up a line here, perfectly up behind the gutter right there, which I'll be pulling back out and, and quick, but I'm going to have this flashing run across here and run up there. And so this sheet will sit perfectly straight up there to get a finished shot. Now, I worked that out right when I was doing the, uh, my measure out for where my sheets were going to go. So this first sheet, I'm going to make it the full height and it will be the longest of all my sheets. I've got three meters 70, I'm going to make it three meters 80, because I can't climb in behind there, three meters 80. One at 308. Oh. And then we come down to some shorter sheets, which bite into the bottom side of this here. And these ones are on a break as well. So we measure, make sure we measure from the right hand side again. Now I've got 27.50. We'll take 10 mil off that, so 27.40. One at 2740.
So once you've written all that down in the wall, we've got our measurements down here, which say 715 plus top, which is, I measured up at the top, it's 940. So you'll do 715 plus 940, and that gives us a total of, and I'm not here to do maths with you guys, because you can work out how to do that, I'm sure. So 715 plus 940, is zero is five, it's four is five, 55, nine and eight, and that, so it's 1655. So one at 1655, and then continue to do that along for the rest of them. And then I'll show you how to write that up onto a order sheet, or if you just type that in, you write that into a sheet so that you can order that. So another thing that we need to measure is the flashing which runs underneath here because we're going to run sheets up into that and have that so it's hidden with no fixing in it either we need to put that on before we install the sheets how do we design this one well what are the what are the important things well any water that comes down here it can't suck back there and go into the wall we don't want that to happen that's really bad so we design a flashing which we're going to put on first that eliminates the ability for water to run back. So if the water runs back, it's actually going to turn around and come back out. So how do we do that? Well, it's a little bit of a trade secret. Uh, I do a little fancy flashing that comes up the wall. Remember that 100 that I keep talking about? 100 mil comes across the thickness of the sheet, which is going to be the same as the thickness of at the top, where you have the, this one here, which is 40 mil. So this one here is going to be coming across on the inside 40 mil also. And then we're going to have it come down 40 mil, squash fold all the way back up, return in the 40 mil, and then squash fold again. So that if any water was to come into here, it's going to hit this part and it can't continue to come in. It's going to hit that and seep sideways or come back out again. Now this angle here, we do this at an 89 degree angle. And then we open this one up here and make that a 91 degree angle. Making this 40. You might look at that and go, oh, gee, that's a bit complex. But they can make it. And that there enables this toe mold to go on first. And give us this really nice waterproofing system that if any water was to come back in there, it's just going to hit that and then it's going to drip out. So that's what we're going to do along there. We're going to find out how long it is. Well, we're going to build that, make that identical length to what we did the head flashing at 2600. Now on this side flashing here, the rib is going to come up here. And it's going to run into here. So we're going to have a flat section around here. So what I do is I do a two piece flashing which is an under U and an over U, and we slide that on and we put that in uh, on, onto the sheet after the sheet has been installed. So we put the under flashing on, we seal that in, and then we put the over flashing on. So we're going to do two U's. The under U is going to have the colour to the underside of the U, basalt matte. And remember my 40 mils that I'm loving, I'm going to write the the underside of it, I'm actually going to do the underside at 38 millimetres, and then I'm going to come up because what's the thickness of the rib? The ribs are 38 mil, so around the 40 mil mark. So I'm going to do the up stand at 30 millimetres because we don't want that to foul with our next flashing. Then we're going to put the next flashing over the top, but this time one side's going to have a squash fold on this side. And that's going to be uh, 35 down the side and 30 down that side and the top now is going to be 40 millimetres. And the top top is going to be where the colour is. Uh, so we've got the under flashing, the over flashing and what's the length going to be? Well the height of the window here is tight, it's 1200 so I'm going to get them at 1300 millimetres. So one at 1300, one at 1300. Now, will that work on this side? Yes, of course it's going to work on that side. That's how I've designed it. 
So where I've written one, I can cross that out and write two at 1300. Two at 1300. Yep. So there you go, guys. Your trendsetters, your non painters, the ones that just like looking at their houses in their undies. I do it, don't tell anyone. But Colourbond won't give me any money to be in an ad to do it because if someone else already did and it's kind of against sort of models, they can't really play those ads at 5.30 p.m. during the news. Anyway, there you've got it. I've gone through and I've shown you how to measure a wall. It's pretty simple, so I think it's simple. However, there can be different questions depending on the profile that you use. If you do corrugated iron, well, instead of going 165 and 265, you're going to go 762 because that's the width of the cover of a sheet. Or if you're going a long span or a span deck or top span or whatever profile it is from whichever company, those are a 700 mil cover. Or if it's a clip lock, top deck, app deck, met lock, whatever you use, that's also 700 cover. If you've got a Stratco or a Highland, a Highland Tray or an NCM 465, then that's going to be a, a 465 cover. You get where I'm going with it. So it's just a matter of adjusting what, how you, uh, the, the material that you have on what you need to do to how many sheets you need, etc. So that's pretty much the gist of things. Making sure that you get your toe mold right, making sure the your top flashing right, um, your head flashing. They're your first, in your first order, they're your really important ones. If you can get your, if, you, if you're skillful enough, which I'm sure you are, if you're not, well, you will be by the time we finish this, ordering a flashing to go underneath here, so that when you put your sheets in, it's already flashed, that's gonna give you a better result. However, uh, it'll still look really good if you order that later. So that's what you do, your toe mold, your top flashing, your head flashing, if you get them, then and your sheets, then you'll be right to go. You have your battens on the wall, and that's coming up in my next video. So you're gonna to need to order some battens too. All right, guys, thank you, you're awesome. I love your, uh, oh, your round of applause. Thank you, guys, oh, that was good, I like that. And your laughs, come on. It's fantastic, I love what I'm doing. DIY for you guys. Um, I'm Kenny, from Mike Ladders. Uh -huh.